We're used to hearing a lot of interesting things about the places that we can visit. But what about those locations we aren't allowed to enter? To name a few, there are military bases that want only their staff members to access. There are historical sites that are so fragile that they can be seriously damaged by human presence. And there are also dangerous places that none of us would ever want to visit. Yet, many of these places intrigue us, from man-made guarded structures to natural formations. They attract some curious travelers like magnets, making them strive to explore the unknown lands. So let's take a look at some of the most interesting places that people can't legally visit. Number 1. Lasco Cave is a Paleolithic cave situated in southwestern France, which houses some of the most famous examples of prehistoric cave paintings. The art, dated to 17,000 to 50,000 BCE, falls within the Upper Paleolithic period and was created by the skilled hands of humans living in that area at that time. It was discovered on 12 September 1940 CE by four boys who examined the foxhole down which their dog had fallen on the hill of Losco. When they went down, they found a wider variety of animals painted on the walls. By 1948, the cave was ready to be opened to the public. Beside the paintings, many tools were founded at Lasco. Among these are many flint tools, some of which display signs of being used specifically for carving engravings into the wall. The archaeological record of the area shows that the depicted animals reflect the fauna that was known to these paleolithical humans. The original cave was closed to the public in 1963, after it became clear that many visitors caused, among others, the growth of algae on the cave walls, dealing irreparable damage to the paintings. Despite the closure, fungi has spread within the cave, and efforts to control this issue and protect the art are ongoing. Number 2. The Doomsday Vault In 1982, the Nordic Gin Bank had established a backup seed storage facility in an abandoned coal mine on Svalbard Island. The entrance portal is a simple concrete construction that has gained status as a global icon. An illuminated fiber optic art installation decorates the entrance. The seed vault, carved into virgin solid rock, was opened on 26 February 2008. The seed storage area itself is located more than 100 meters inside the mountain and under layers of rock that range between 40 and 60 meters thick. The mountain mass has permafrost, with a stable temperature between minus 3 and 4 degrees Celsius. The seed storage area has an additional cooling system to bring the seed storing temperature to minus 18 degrees Celsius and ensure that it remains constant. The seed store facility consists of three halls. Each hall can accommodate about 1.5 million seed samples, thus giving the seed vault a total capacity to store 4.5 million seeds. To date, the holdings in the seed vault are close to 1 million seed samples. Only one of the three holes is in use, cooled to minus 18 degrees Celsius and equipped with shelves for seed boxes. In an age of heightened geopolitical tension and uncertainty, the seed vault is an unusual and hopeful exercise in the international cooperation for the good of humankind. Any organization or country can send seeds to it. Only a selected few are able to go inside on days when they are accepting new seeds. Number 3. Frau Cicabrana is one of the most spectacular landmarks of Czech Republic. It is the biggest sandstone arch in Europe, with a span of 26.5 meters and an inside height of 16 meters. Till 1982, this landmark attracted tourists from far and near. Later, to minimize erosion, people are restricted to visit this arch. The entire terrain has been in private ownership since the privatization of the hotel and can be visited for an entry fee during opening times. However, geologists think that this natural sandstone arch of Prauci Cabrana will soon collapse. Number 4. Metro 2 A lot that is known about Moscow's Metro 2 is actually not known but rather speculated, as it is still most likely a top secret project run by the Ministry of Defense. Metro 2 is the informal name for a secret underground metro system that parallels the public Moscow metro. The system was supposedly built during the time of Stalin and was codenamed D6 by the KGB. The length of Metro 2 is rumored to exceed that of the public metro. It is said to have four lines and to lie 50 to 200 meters deep and connect the Kremlin with the Federal Security Service headquarters. 
the government airport at Nukovotu and an underground town at Ramenki, in addition to other locations of national importance. Number 5. Poveglia was constructed on a permanent fortification built by the Venetian government and from 1793 to 1814 was used as a plague quarantine station. The tiny island is said to have hosted over 160,000 infected souls living out their final days here, so many that they say that 50% of the soil consists of human remains. In 1922, a mental hospital was opened on Poviglia. Local legends say that one doctor at the hospital tortured and ended many of his patients, only to later die by falling from or possibly being thrown off from its bell tower. The hospital closed in 1968. The Italian Tourism Board prohibits visiting the island on paper and requires a lengthy application process, where you must obtain approval before you can step foot onto the human ash-covered land. But as with most things, for the right price, which is about 200 euros, you can hire someone to get you over there, no approval necessary. These are some of the most difficult places to get into while visiting Europe. They attract some curious travelers like magnets, making them strive to explore the unknown lands. And still, it's better not to even try to visit these places, for the sake of your safety. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to find out more interesting topics, and as always, thanks for watching.